Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 10 students. Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-divide using long division method at synthetic division. So, igagayad ko nga kayo dito sa inyong learning task number 2, divide each of the following using the two methods. Disclaimer lang, pinalitan ko yung mga given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong is 12 yung nasa modules ninyo. Okay? Dito sa number 1, we have x squared minus 4x minus 12 divided by x minus 6. I-arrange muna natin siya in decreasing powers. Pero since naka-arrange naman na siya in decreasing powers, so ganyan na siya. So, x squared minus 4x minus 12 divided by x minus 6. Naituro ko na sa learning task number 1 kung paano mag-divide ng using long division. So, ang unang gagawin... Kunin natin yung first term dito, x squared, tapos i-divide natin sa first term dito na x. So, x squared divided by x is equal to x, ba? Kasi, subtract natin yung kanilang exponent, that is 1. Kaya, x, ilalagay natin yung x dito, and then, i-multiply natin yung x dito sa divisor. x times x equals x squared, and then, x times negative 6 equals negative 6x. Then, I-subtract natin using the idea of keep change change. Keep natin ito. Change natin ito. Magiging plus. And then, magiging negative ito. Ito magiging positive. Nag-gets ninyo? Keep natin ito. Then, change the operation. Change the sign of the subtrahend. So, magiging x squared plus negative x squared is equal to 0. And then, negative 4x plus positive 6x, magkaiba na sila ng sign. So, using the rule of addition, di ba pag magkaiba ng sign, i-subtract natin. So, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Then, copy the sign of the larger number, mas malaki si 6, kaya positive. So, I assume na alam nyo na to kasi mula grade 7, alam nyo na ang mag-add at mag-subtract ng integers. So, 2x ang sagot. Then, bring down negative 12. Next, I-divide natin si 2x dito sa first term. So, 2x divided by x is equal to positive 2 kasi makakancel yan. Ilalagay natin dito. And then, 2 times x equals 2x. 2 times negative 6 equals negative 12. Then, subtract natin. So, magiging, i-keep natin to. Change natin to. Then, ito magiging negative. Ito magiging plus, positive. So, 2 plus negative 2 equals 0. And then, negative 12 plus positive 12 equals 0. So, ang remainder natin is 0. Ngayon, using the synthetic division naman, maglagay tayo dito ng inverted L, tapos kunin natin yung opposite ng divisor. ba x minus 6 yan. Kunin natin yung opposite niya, magiging positive 6. Kopyahin natin yung coefficients, that is 1. Coefficients lang. Then, negative 4. And then, negative 12. Then, to synthetic division ito. Bring down natin si 1. Tapos si 1, multiply natin sa 6. And then, i-add natin to Negative 4 plus 6. Magkaiba ng sign, so subtract natin. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Then, copy the sign of the greater number that is positive. Then, si 2, multiply natin ulit sa 6. That is positive 12. Then, i-add natin. Negative 12 plus 12 equals 0. So, ito yung remainder. Ngayon, paano natin ito isusulat sa final answer? Diba, babawasan lang natin ito ng isa. So, ito magiging 1x raised to 1 plus 2x raised to 0. Tapos, remainder niya is 0, kaya wag na natin isulat. So, ang final answer nito is x plus 2. Kasi yung x raised to 0 ay 1 yan, kaya 1 times 2 equals 2. Or pwede rin namang diretsyo, that is x plus 2. And then, sa letter B, sa letter B, i-show nyo daw siya as 
of x. So that is x squared minus 4x minus 12 over x minus 6 is equal to, ano yung quotient natin? x plus 2. So this is now yung letter B. Ito yung synthetic division at ito naman yung long division. Next, dito naman tayo sa number 2, x squared plus x minus 30 divided by x minus 5. So, naka-arrange naman na siya in decreasing power. So, that is x squared plus x minus 30 divided by x minus 5. Tayo lang din sa number 1. Divide natin yung first term dito sa first term ng divisor. x squared divided by x is equal to x. So, yung x ilalagay natin dito sa tapat ng x. x times x equals x squared. x times negative 5 equals negative 5x. And then, subtract natin. So, i-keep natin ito. Change natin ito. Then, i-change natin ito. Magiging plus ito. So, magiging x squared plus negative x squared equals 0. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 na. So, 6x. Bring down negative 30. Then, i-divide natin itong first term. 6x divided by sa first term, that is x. Ang matitira is 6 na lang. So, 6. Yung 6, ilalagay natin dito. Then, multiply. 6 times x equals 6x. 6 times negative 5 equals negative 30. Then, subtract. So, magiging 0 ito. Tapos, ito magiging plus. Negative 30 plus 30 is equal to 0. So, 0 yung remainder niya. Using the synthetic division naman. So, maglagay tayo ng inverted L. Kunin natin yung opposite nito. That is 5. Kopyahin natin yung coefficient nito. That is 1. Tapos, ito naman ay 1. Tapos, ito, negative 30. Then, bring down 1. Then, 1 times 5 equals 5. I-add natin. 1 plus 5 equals 6. 6 times 5 equals 30. Then, add natin. Negative 30 plus 30 is equal to 0. So, dito nga, babawasan lang natin ito ng 1. So, magiging x na lang siya plus 6. So, the final answer is x plus 6. So, paano natin siya isusulat sa letter B? Paano natin siya isusulat in P of X form? That is, X squared plus X minus 30 divided by X minus 5 is equal to yung quotient natin na X plus 6. Okay? So, ito na yung final answer. Or, pwede rin namang P of X over D of X equals yung divisor na X minus 5 times yung quotient na x plus 6. Pwedeng ito or pwede rin ito. Pareho lang din yan. Okay? Number 3, 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. So, naka-arrange na siya in decreasing power. So, hindi na natin i-arrange. 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. So, ang unang gagawin, i-divide natin yung first term dito sa first term ng divisor. 2x cubed divided by x is equal to positive 2x squared. Kasi 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Yung 2x squared, ilalagay natin dito sa tapat ng quadratic term. Then, multiply natin dito sa divisor. 2x squared times x equals 2x cubed. 2x squared times 1 equals positive 2x squared. And then, subtract natin. Keep natin ito. Change the operation. And then, change natin yung kanilang sign. So, magiging 2x cubed plus negative 2x cubed equals 0. Then, 3 plus negative 2 magkaiba ng sign isubtract natin. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si 3. Kaya, positive 1x squared or x squared na lang. Bring down, positive 4x. I-divide natin ito dito sa first term ng divisor, x squared divided by x. So, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, x raised to 1 na siya or kahit, one, or kahit x na lang. So, that is positive x. Multiply natin dito. x times x equals x squared. x times positive 1 equals positive 1x or Positive x na lang. Then, subtract. Again, keep natin ito. Change natin ito. Then, change natin ito. 
So, magiging negative na rin ito. x squared plus negative x squared is equal to 0, di ba? Then, 4 plus negative 1, that is 4 minus 1, is equal to 3. Then, kopyahin yung variable na x. Bring down positive 3. Then, i-divide natin itong first term dito sa first term ng divisor na x. So, that is 3. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 or 3 na lang or makakancel yan. Yung 3, ilalagay natin dito. Nasundan? Tapos, 3 times x equals 3x. 3 times 1 equals 3. Positive 3. Subtract natin. So, mag-change ng sign. Magiging keep ito, change ito, then change, change. Okay? So, magiging 3x plus negative 3x equals 0, then 3, 0 din. Ang quotient natin is 2x squared plus x plus 3. Now, using the synthetic division, maglagay tayo ng inverted L. Kunin natin yung opposite nito, that is negative 1. Kopyahin natin yung mga coefficients, that is 2, then 3, then 4, tapos 3. Maglagay ng line, bring down 2, that is 2, times negative 1, equals negative 2, lalagay natin dyan, tapos i-add natin. So, 3 plus negative 2 equals 1, tapos 1 times negative 1 equals negative 1, i-add natin. 4 plus negative 1 is equal to 3. 3 times negative 1 equals negative 3. 3 plus negative 3 equals 0. So, ang final answer natin is 2x. Bawasan natin ito ng isa. That is squared. Plus 1x squared or x squared na lang. Or x raised to 1 plus 3. So, the same lang din sila, ba? So, ito yung quotient niya. Iksabihin, sa letter B natin, that is 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 3 over x plus 1 is equal to yung quotient natin na 2x squared plus x plus 3. Or pwede rin namang p of x over d of x is equal to quotient natin that is 2x squared plus x plus 3 times yung divisor na x plus 1. Okay? Hanggang dito na lamang mga anak, abangan ninyo yung part 2 sa susunod na video, number 4 at number 5. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please do like and mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!